everyone, you are in Endurance Laser Lab. In this short video I want to give you a few life hacks about wood and plywood laser cutting. So a lot of you buy lasers for cutting 3, maybe 4, up to 5 millimeter plywood. And so first thing you need to know that you need G2 lens for it. So this is a short focal G2 lens uh, for cutting. It gives you a smaller spot closer to uh, 0 0.1 millimeter, maybe 0 0.15 millimeter, uh, the laser, uh, um, the laser spot, and you can check it out with a special um, ruler like this. So if your line is closer to 0 0.1 millimeter, you are doing fine. If it's closer and as big as 0 0.2 you probably need to pay more attention to your focus. Another thing that you need to be aware of that your lens is clean and it's not damaged. For example, this lens is damaged and you cannot cut anything with it. So you can see it from this, from both actually. So it, sh it should be clean, first thing. And the second, that it should be focused well. So this is another thing. Also, we do suggest you to use an air assistant air nozzle. So this is our uh, air nozzle that we um, supply and install on 10 watt plus lasers. But if you want to install it on any laser, you can also do it. So you just get an uh, air pump here and make sure that your air goes exactly where your beam is hitting a piece of plywood. And the final thing, and very, very important, that you need to take care of density of your plywood. For example, I can show you, this is very, very light um, plywood, you can actually paint it. So you need to find out what is the real density. Uh, you can get, uh, you can measure it. So you put it like this, I'm not sure that I'll be able to show you, but I'll try. Okay. So it's okay, 23 grams, and then you calculate uh, width, uh, length, or actually length, width, and the height. You uh, multiply it, and then you, you divide your weight on your uh, volume, and then you get a density. So what is important that uh, you can actually cut any any plywood. But if you have very dense, very, uh, very uh, strong plywood, you probably won't, won't cut it easily. Also, you need to make sure that your cutting parameters are good. For example, you can cut slowly and then you'll have a lot of smoke over here, and, uh, but you probably can cut it with one pass. Or you can make it like two passes or three passes and cut it much cleaner so you won't have any any uh, burnt edges so it's very very important in average I must say that a good way um, to cut that if the density of your plywood and wood is not more than listen very attentively 0 0.5 uh, grams on one cubical centimeter so it should be at least two times less dense than the water because we try to cut very very strong like wood and plywood with a density of 0 0.8 it's it's cut very very difficult with even saw so I recommend you to to use uh, light special uh, laser ply I'm gonna show you here so laser ply, different different variants. So you can actually check it out, and uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Yeah, I get around to answer my customer requests. So hope that you like this video. Please share it with your friends, and uh, have wonderful laser cutting and laser engraving. Bye bye.